Do you like being in foster care? Mm, not really, cause you can't be, you can't do a lot of things. My foster mom used to be real worried, and she was like, "You need to get out. You need to start going out." When I went in my first foster home, how could these people that were supposed to be caring for me let this happen? and this is how I feel about the foster care system. I believe there is good and bad in the system. The bad thing about it is that I can't spend time or see my biological family and being mistreated and not loved and being welcomed. And the good thing about it is seeing having a roof over my head, having a home to sleep, food to eat, and going on family vacations with the family that took me in to love me. And right now, I have my sister Ashley, and she's in foster care. And we're going to ask her a couple of questions on how does she feel about the foster care system and the good and bad things about her life. Are you able to see your biological family? Yes. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good. See them five to six hours a day. Have you ever been mistreated or not welcomed to love in a foster home? Mm, yes, a couple times, but... I got over it, and they got over it, so we cool now. When you were in foster care, were you able to see your birth family? Yeah. How did it make you feel? Uh, I really didn't care either way. I never really got along with my family anyways. Oh. I do think that if it wasn't for Miss T, that I'll still be running around the streets, like, fighting and getting in trouble and getting suspended and, like, you know what I'm saying, just not doing, just following behind my mom footsteps. Like, I think I would have been pregnant by now. Mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't have had, like, as much knowledge as I have now on life and everything. And my mom had me and my brother, and we was, um, we was in court. And, like, she couldn't take care of us no more. And, like, the judge gave her a certain amount of time to get herself together to straighten up, go to rehab and whatever. And then she came back to court and was like, I can't do it. I want y'all to put my kids with somebody who will love them and take care of them. And that, and come to think about it, as I think about it now, I'm like, oh, my goodness, man. That was, like, that really hurted me. Like, she couldn't. Like, stop doing the drugs to take care of her kids. Now, mind she has 10 kids, and none of them live with her, but only one. Father, can you hear me? We need your love today. As a foster mom, I believe in treating the child like my own. I believe when they come into my house, they should be my child. 